hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel it's me your fashion teacher ij and here is ij designs on today's tutorial i want to show to you guys how you can use your horse hair to hem the down part of your skirt be it a six species skirt or a fish skirt or any skirt of your choice especially skirt that flows how you can use it to make it to stand more and to look very beautiful. Without wasting much of your time, guys, I would like to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers, both new and old subscribers. You guys are the best. You guys are welcome on board. I appreciate you all. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for passing by my channel. So without wasting much time, I would like us to start. This is a finished CSPC skirt. If you want to know how to make a CSPC skirt, I've made a well-detailed video on how to cut and sew a celebrity CSPC skirt. You can check it out. Also, I will also link it to this video so that if you want to make one, you can also watch the video. So now, I have finished making this CSPC skirt. I finished making it. So the next thing I want to do now is to use my horse hair or crinoline to hem the part of it to make it more flay and to look more like a celebrity skirt so that is the reason i said okay let me share it with you guys so now take the hem of your skirt that you have finished the skirt you have to finish making it before you start putting the horse hair so now i've finished making the skirt so i'll now take the down part of it take any side of your choice but i like to start at the line of the zip at the zipper's line that is where i love to start with so that if your a zipper side flows at the back you can be able to control it so now i take my skirt that is finished try to trim it off to make it look more nice trim it off try to trim a little bit of it off then with your matching thread, that's the matching thread I'm using. That's the matching thread. With your matching thread, so you start. Take your horse hair. This is my horse hair. So you now take it. So you start. Now, I would like to use the material of this cloth to secure the edge of the crinoline so that it doesn't touch the body of the person or being uncomfortable to anyone that will put on the skirt so now i'm going to use the same material of this to secure this place then i'll show it to you guys now guys i have secured the edge of the horse hair now i will place it do you see how I secured it? Then I'll now place it here. I'll place it a little above the line. That's the line. Just open it up in this form. Then I'll place it here. I'll place it quarter inch away from the edge. Do you see it? Quarter inch away from the edge. So I'll place it. Then I'll put it under the machine. Then let's start sewing. If I stitch, when sewing, don't draw your horse hair. Don't draw it. Just go with it gradually. Especially when the material you are making is a lycra material or a material that draws. For example, this is a lycra material. You see, it's a bit elastic. The material is a bit elastic so don't draw the horse hair just go with it gradually let's start do you see how i'm sewing it so now i'm going to sew it round until i come back to this age then i'll show it to you guys Now, guys, I'm getting to the end of it, back to the place that we started. So now, watch carefully. When you get to there, you just 
cut it out a little bit half inch above the first one you see what i'm doing now i have cut it out do you see it now i'm going to use another piece of the same material to close here up so that it's not going to touch the person on the body so now just take your piece another piece of it just take your piece and put it under it put it under it then close it up do you see it you close it up then you now sew it on top of the first one Now you top stitch and it's ready. So what you have to do is you put pull it back in this form and you top stitch here. The two, you bring the two together. You see it? The two. That's the two of it where you now divide it. So now let me show you guys how it looks do you see it it looks very neat it's not going to touch you on your body so now the next thing to do the next thing we have to do is to turn it over remember the first time you are sewing it you are sewing it on the right side of your material the right side this is the right side now you have to turn it in this form you turn it like this you see it now you turn it in this form to stitch it if you want you can also top stitch before stitching or if you don't want you want to make it only once you now pull it back carefully then you now sew on the right side of your material so now let us sew on it So now put it back and you start to sew. Also gradually, do you see it? You take it easy, don't draw it. Do you see how it looks? Do you see also the inside of it? How neat it looks. Now, I'm going to sew it also. And when I come back to the where we started, that is sewing it round. When I come back to where we started, I'm going to show to you guys before we finish it up. Now, guys, I'm coming to the closing of this skirt that we are making. That is coming back to where we started to close it up. Now, watch what I'm doing gradually don't pull like i said if you don't pull you get a nice result but when you pull it it's going to be ruffle in some areas so just go with it gradually so now we are coming to the end of it now we are coming to where we started do you see it here was where we started here so now just come to it join it together do you see it now you top stitch and it's okay now try to cut off the threads and make it look nice do you see it do you see the inside of it do you see the back how neat it is do you see everything is in place do you see the fronts of it now i'm going to put this skirt on our mannequin so that we'll see how it will flow and give it a different look now guys can you see our six pieces skirts do you see the difference when you use horse hair or crinoline to hem the down part of it do you see how beautiful it is do you see how it stands do you see how it flows? Do you see our six pieces skirts? 
that we now hem with our horse hair so guys you can try one for yourself after making your six pieces skirt to make it look outstanding and different and to make it look more celebrity celebratic style you can hem it with your horse hair so guys if this tutorial on how to use the horse hair of crinoline to hem the down part of your six pieces skirt have been helpful to you don't forget to give me a thumbs up like share and comment on my videos and if i have not subscribed please consider subscribing to my channel i love you guys and i'll be showing you all that i know and do while sewing love you guys and see you in my next video bye